Oh man, I can't wait to review this headset. This thing looks so cool. If you don't know who Palmer Lucky is, he's the dude who originally founded the Oculus, which is now owned by Facebook after they bought it for like $2.1 billion, which made Palmer fucking rich as hell. He's now a defense contractor and still in the VR business, I guess. He made a blog post showing off this brand new headset. And I mean, it looks like a pretty normal headset. And then you start reading into what the general idea is about it. His blog post starts off with, if you die in the game, you die in real life. So bad. I mean, like it's not really hard to tell what the fuck is going on with this thing instead of having microwave emitters that kills the person the entire headset is inspired by sword art online he's made he made multiple references in the blog post i'll link it in the description if you want to read it it's cool i guess he has decided to use three explosive charge mods basically meaning that if you die in the game your brain gets turned into mush and your bedroom is gonna have a new paint color on the wall the idea of tying your real life to your virtual avatar has always fascinated me you instantly raise the stakes to the maximum level and force people to fundamentally rethink how they interact with the virtual world and the players inside it all I know, this thing actually becomes like a real thing. Some people are gonna go out of their way to kill people. <laughs> you hear those people that call you slurs in Call of Duty? Yeah, those are the people that are gonna fucking do this. Also, if you even try to uh, take it off, you can't. Uh, he says, I have plans for an anti-tamper mechanism that, like the Nerve Gear, will make it impossible to remove or destroy the headset. If this VR headset were to become an actual thing, like a legitimate product that works, I wonder how tech reviewers would review this thing. I feel like some of them would actually be crazy enough to put it on, and like the guy in Nope, the dude with the fucking camera trying to get the perfect shot, this is the perfect send-off video. Or do some of them just put it like on a car crash test dummy and, you know, see the effects of it. Also, how much would this fucking cost this is like a one-time use thing this better be worth the money actually i better not be able to tell the difference between real life and fucking vr life this thing better have like 4k graphics people are realistic it better not be like roblox fucking characters or facebook's metaverse characters that for some reason don't have legs i don't know why they haven't done that this is like the easiest thing you could probably do just make the fucking legs mark also i can just imagine the fucking bugs that would come out of it <laughs> imagine that shit just starts exploding randomly just on random people and they haven't even like died or done anything wrong inside the game as of right now it's only like a piece of office art for him but he even admitted saying a huge variety of failures that could occur and kill the user at the wrong time in its current state and that's why i haven't tried it yet <laughs> He's fucking smart, cause <laughs> I bet he knows that shit's gonna explode the second the Titans run his fucking head. Personally, I wouldn't buy it. I don't want my head to be looking like the shape of a croissant. I like having my head intact like every other person in the world. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe if you want. Uh, you can even go tell me no or to go fuck myself in the comments if you want. I don't know. I appreciate anything. I like feedback. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, see ya. Still don't know how to do outros. Jesus Christ. I need to figure out a fucking script for this.